Hi, this is Mark with Right Line Trading, and this is our evening newsletter. Um, starting with this disclaimer, um, that all signals and trading opportunities you, we provide are for educational demonstration purposes only. Um, everyone understands that uh, involve, uh, trading involves substantial risk, and you can lose a substantial amount of money. Always carefully consider your financial position prior to trading, and never risk more uh, than you can afford to lose. Now, what we're looking here. And what we're looking at here is the ETF hack, H-A-C-K. Um, now, I know you're tired of getting um, endless uh, uh, requests for uh, PDF downloads. And, I mean, I, I, just, I just get uh, dozens of them a day asking me for, for my email address. Uh, and, then, and then I get a PDF download that's supposed to make me rich. And what I'm trying to do here is really supply you with really effective, action, actionable material um, that I find very, very relevant and almost always take action on myself. Now, let's take a look at a longer term time frame chart of Hack. Um, let's look at a 30 day, let's, let's go back 90 days. Um, and let's look at a uh, we'll look at a five minute. Now, as you can see, Hack has really made a nice move up. Now, what is Hack? Yeah, actually, after heading down, hit a bottom here, um, and up we go. Uh, this is quite a while ago. I can squeeze this more. But anyway, Hack is uh, an ETF that has stocks like uh, Palo Alto Networks, um, uh, CloudStrike, all the big cybersecurity stocks in it. I can't tell you which one is going to be the winner here. But we're going into uh, an environment right now where cybersecurity um, is becoming very relevant. Uh, uh, Russia is constantly um, uh, um, uh, doing uh, cyber attacks against Ukraine and is also, um, uh, I believe, trying to hit the United States and um, a lot of Europe. And uh, we're going to hear a lot of talk about cybersecurity in the news. And um, uh, I, think we're, I, th I think this is going to get a lot of attention. Now, the thing is, right now, it's bucking the NASDAQ because um, all of these are tech stocks. So uh, it's hitting a little bit of um, a little bit of uh, of headwind. But if we open it up, we, we can see that it closed really nicely today. Um, making a nice rebound off a of low. You see, it, it took this pop out of this consolidation channel. Up it went. And um, I would strongly recommend um, a hold uh, uh, e either uh, by the stock or um, uh, look at an options position. Um, it's pulled back a bit off its swing high at um, right here at, at around 59. Um, there's no real major resistance until we hit the VWAP at 57.86. Uh, but I think we're going to go a lot further than that. Uh, and um, uh, major resistance uh, will not be seen until the stock hits about 68, all the way up here. Can't even scale it in that far. It's so far off the chart. So um, I really like this as a swing term uh, long position. And quite frankly, I'm already in it. Um, I, I'm, it's not a very, it, I'm not holding it for a significantly long period of time. Uh, but I think we're gonna get a nice bounce um, off, off the uh, cybersecurity sector. Um, it's trading right around 57. Um, you, might, you might want to take a 58 strike uh, and uh, maybe hold it for a month. And I think it should return 
extremely good money. So um, HACK, and you're really buying a, an amalgam of all the major uh, cybersecurity stocks. I think it's a low risk, very high, uh, potentially high reward trade. You see that money flow is with us on the trade. We've got the um, multi time frame alignment trend. We've got the uh, multi time frame assessment of the gear momentum. Um, we've got uh, our, our momentum signal B and our correlative market line. All green, heading to the upside. And I believe big institutional money is involved in the trade as going to as going to sweep hack to the upside. Everyone have a wonderful evening, and I look forward to talking to you tomorrow.